Now, Scott, I know that you're not thrilled about this, but, you know, Fuck. we're professionals here. Uh, we had a chance to briefly sit down with a racer, talk about his difficult week. And Shell, he just wanted to come on the program. We're not going to turn up a chance at that. So we welcome to the program, Shell Carter. She packed my bags last night, free flight, zero hour, 9 a.m. That's a new song off of Shell Save the World, and it's really cool. It's Rocket Man. Okay. It's not cool. Yeah, it's actually really cool. No. Shell Save the World is no, going to be coming out really cool. soon, but I'm not here to talk about Shell Save the World. I mean, I could talk about it for hours. It's sort of a passion project of mine. Uh, if you want to hear songs from it, I can come down to P.F. Chang. And I'm usually singing it through my karaoke machine, and I'm standing on the table, and I'm saying to the waitress, the thing is they don't, don't be have... so quick to walk away, oh my dance God. with Shell. You know, things like that. Having a really fun vibe to P.F. Chang. They don't have karaoke at P.F. Chang's. I bring my karaoke machine. Jesus. I bought one when I was traveling through Korea earlier this year. It was very cool. <sighs> It was not cool, but so we're not going to talk about that. We're not. I don't think you know what is cool. No, and what is I said not. I would play it cool, and I'm not going to let you bug me because I made a deal with ESPN that I have to be, you know, welcoming. So, what did you want to talk about, Shell? Yeah, I'm really. I mean, you don't like whistleblowers, so I mean, it's something that I really feel is kind of um, just. I need to whistleblow sometimes. You always what do, you, do. What are you talking about with whistleblowing? Well, I think that there's a lot of things to talk about with Pam. Oh, I don't yeah. think that we, okay. I mean, unless, we, I mean, there's there a lot of a lot things of to things, talk about yeah. with Pam. Oh yeah. But I mean, like, I, I don't like that you're whistleblowing on her unless, unless it's kind of like a construction site whistleblowing where we're going, you know, oh, that yeah. kind of thing. But not that I condone that behavior, but you know, if we're going to be whistleblowing about her, I'd rather it be like that. Yeah, it's not actually. I just, I really couldn't stay silent on the fact that she's corrupting Slam against me and really corrupting the quality of the league. And it really, really is just, she's the integrity of the league and the professionalism is just not where it should be and is really different from any uh, race pit that I have been in. I've been in race pits with Sexy Bacon and he tried to attack me. Okay, so explain, like, why, I mean, it looked like fine racing to, to us up in the booth. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned too, Shell. Uh, I, like, what's the, what's the issue here? Well, it's really the things that she's doing behind the scenes. So as she's playing me and Slam and Midas against each other, so it's a really big mental game for her, and I think that she is willing to break Slam's heart and crush him and... You know, the Carter brothers have famously never been dumped, but I feel like this is a situation where she is playing with his heart and she is going to dump him as soon as he is not really useful to him. And, you know, the thing is that Slam is not talking to me anymore and Midas is so mad all the time and Pamela is just provoking all of us and I don't like it at all. It's really, really stressful for me and I don't think that it's professional what she's doing okay well you can't get dumped if you never had a girlfriend so that's point i've had eight. so many girlfriends it's no. really yeah it's yeah. impossible i also you can't get dumped. no i'm no the thing is i've had girlfriends and the thing is i've been in situations where men are you know you're in a love triangle so to speak and wow. there's a man i should say that i'm in a love line because me and my girlfriend make a strong line but there is a person trying to turn it into a triangle and break the line, but basically I get yelled at so many times, like I'm walking out of P.F. Chang's and some guy who's like in a car, probably her chauffeur or something, is like, please stop talking to her. And I'm like, "Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, please stop taking photos on Instagram of you eating Great Wall of Chocolate with Sarah. And I'm like, I don't know. (laughs) You know, that's my girlfriend. I can do what you want. So So it's kind of like you're her chauffeur. And meanwhile, I'm eating great well of chocolate with her. So it's, we're not the same. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that there's no room for that in the world, but like to bring it into the racetrack for the purposes of winning races is just really crossing the line for me. Every interview 
go there. Like, why are we always talking about the waitresses at PF Chang's? It never is. You not, don't talk about well. It's never. Sorry, you've not never actually that. had a relationship that lasted, so oh I don't think that you really God. talk about. This is, like, I, I like said to talk I would, about my girlfriends no, because they're why are really we, beautiful. We're just always and talking so about the same me. thing. What's that you say, Scott? We're talking about made-up girlfriends every time at PF Chang's. It is. They're not uh, made-up girlfriends. So I have the to thing is, cool. it's like if you date a woman that you love. Okay. You want to, you want to talk about her all the time. It's like, oh yeah, my girlfriend today. She brought me a plate of. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's called a waitress shell. But she, she brought me a plate of chicky china. Yeah, really I mean, good. let me guess. And then another PF Chang's item. I mean, uh, okay. Well, let's keep. The sticky, I'm the sticky tr- I'm trying. China to, chicken. I'm, I'm trying to keep it okay. So on the on the track, you're saying that Pam is splitting you guys up, but you do realize Pam and Slam are teammates, right? Like, what? Yeah, but the thing is, it goes well beyond that. So I'll give you some examples. So for one, I used to, you know, I have to fight for tub time now, which is really tough. That's for not me. racing. You said you were going to give an example, and then you start talking about your tub time. On the track, Shell. On the track. No, this is track. all relevant. So I go home, and usually my schedule is that I will take oh. a bath with Slam together. But I go in there, and Pam and Slam are in the bath this together. Has, and he looks up. has nothing to do with racing. And he looks up, and he's wearing the snorkel that is my snorkel. And I don't know what kind of thing he's doing with it to go under the water with a bath. Like, I go into the tub and lay face down when no one else is in there, and I fill it up with water, and I pretend to be snorkeling. But to do that when Pamela is in the bath with you, and you are wearing the snorkel, what are you doing? Uh, you are such a dork. Um... Now, the next... I just want to say, that doesn't matter. The next thing is that she comes in, and she is talking... You know, she'll do this all the time. She'll go, I got slammed so hard last night. I'm going to be driving backwards on the track, I fear. She says that to me. She says that to me and Midas in earshot. And she goes, I got slammed so hard last night. I'm probably not going to know which way I'm driving. And the thing is, I'm like, oh, well, me and Slam were actually building an ant farm all last night. So I don't know at what point you got slammed, but stop saying this to provoke us. And Slam just tells me to fuck off. Yeah, I think Slam has finally grown up. Um, and he's doing what he should have done years ago. And I think in terms of getting slammed, that's something Mike and I know very well. Very, very, I mean, not, oh, not with yes. Slam. <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. I, let's clarify. We're not with I Slam. I know a little bit about getting, well, I, not about getting slammed, yeah, about yeah, doing yeah, the clarify. slamming. And not not with yeah. Slam, but like, you know, we oh, know doing the lot. slamming. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah, 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 But again, not with Slam. But yeah. Um, yeah, yeah actually, I think well, so. You're blowing the I'm, whistle on. Here's another thing that really bugs me, um, is that she comes in and she's got a giant, and I don't know where you get this amount of that, but she's got a giant metal tub of prophylactic lube, and she goes, "Oh, I guess we got the order mixed up. You must have the uh, car oil at your at the Carter Ranch." She says that to Slam really loudly, and. You know, her, she is laughing with Slam about this idea of like a mix up, like that they bought car oil and lube at the same time, but one of them got delivered to the track and it was the lube by accident. And meanwhile, we have a big tub of oil at the Carter Ranch. I don't like these kind of jokes. I think that they're really rude and you don't need to be rude to be funny. I, this has, you said you were blowing the whistle on, on, yeah, racing, this is pretty bad. And this is just you being left out by slam and i hope i hope the producers are yeah. happy i said this was i said it was going to lead to discussions of pf changs they said no he's blowing the whistle on some big scandal in mks and i said he's tricking you and yeah like yeah, no i know like this is i mean i know shell unlike these other i've sat in a room with him before mike you haven't mm-hmm. even done that and yeah it's exactly what i said would happen yeah, I mean, that's the kind of thing that uh, I have to apologize for lending him on yeah, air. Actually, can I interrupt here for like one second? I just think that it, like, okay. So we went to P.F. Chang together. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you reported on it last week. So, I mean, this is with a TMZ story. 
But we go to P.F. Chang last week, and that's a big story. And the reason we went there is because I said, please, you know, stop bringing this into the track and dump my brother now so that we can go back to real racing, Carter brother racing. And she just open mouth kissed my brother right in front of me. And I was shocked. Well, I mean, this seems like a a bit of an issue that it sounds like you're a bad brother to be totally. It sounds like a you issue. Um, I mean, I'm happy for slam. Um, I wish I was slam in this situation, but (laughs) oh boy, you know, I, I say I've had many women, you know, maybe the claims are true that she's using slam, but a lot of worse ways to be used. (laughs) Sign Sign me up to be used and disposed of, you know? If the uh, end treatment was I end up in an actual dump after she dumps me, uh, she uses me up and she throws me out into the dumpster in the back, I think I'll be okay with that. And I think Slam's going to be okay. Yeah. I mean, that shit he didn't grin, it's just, oh boy, yeah. you know that he's having fun. Yeah, couldn't agree more, Mike. And I think uh, I think we can yeah, put this one to bed. Glad. And you guys are idiots. So I don't know what you're talking and about. And kick Shell off the air. I mean... Yeah, we're going to cut off the... the do you have any wrapping things to wrap up, uh, Shell, before we cut you off? Oh, I just, you know, it did such a low rate show. I don't really have any comments. Okay, well, uh, that's great, Shell, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you maybe never, but Hopefully. maybe later. Well, you know, you never know. He's a big personality on the track, so we'll see.